If you don't have a sewing machine or you need to take down a project and you don't want to, why don't you try the Speedy Stitcher or the Sewing All Kit. It does a great job of doing lock stitch stitches by hand. The bobbin fits in the handle and the cover over the top. You simply want to pull out the amount of wax thread that you need to complete your project. There you go. Now you wrap it around this little uh, thumbtack that's installed in the handle and that way you can tension the thread when you're sewing your project. Alright, now we're going to be sewing uh, just two layers of Sunbrella fabric. Let's say this were a hem or something that you need to, needed to hem and you didn't want to break out your sewing machine or didn't have one. First insert the needle, then pull the thread all the way out. Then you want to find the center position. Remember, you got to have enough thread to complete the project, so make sure you do start with enough thread. Okay, there's the center position. Now we simply insert the needle right behind that, basically the length of the stitch that you want. This one's probably about an 8mm, 9mm stitch. And we'll want to continue doing 8mm or 9mm stitches all the way down this hem. Then insert it through the uh, loop that the needle creates in the back. To create that loop, you need to insert the needle into the material and then pull the needle out of the material only slightly. Thus the fabric creates a little bit of friction on that uh, wax thread and that's how you create the loop. Let's show you again here. Insert the needle, pull the needle partially out, that creates the loop, then take your thread on the back side and insert it into that loop. Then hold it with your thumb or your forefinger, like there, so it creates some tension, and then pull it all the way out until the knot is buried between both top and bottom. Let's see that again. Insert the needle, create the loop, Insert the thread on the back side through that loop. Hold that thread with your forefinger and then pull the sewing all out the back side until the knot is buried between the two pieces of fabric. There we go. We continue doing that down the whole length of the project. It's pretty easy to use.